Hey guys, welcome back to Baking with Shannon. Today we're going to be making an ultra-rich and buttery French brioche that's laced with light brown sugar, cinnamon, and raisins. So to get started, in a bowl of a stand mixer, you want to add some flour, two large eggs, a little bit of milk, sugar, salt, yeast, those warm spices like cinnamon and allspice, and that's to taste, so you can adjust that as you like, as well as a touch of vanilla, and just go ahead and knead that until it forms a smooth but firm dough. After a few minutes, once all the flour is moistened, you want to start adding your butter. And just make sure that butter is very, very soft at room temperature, so when you press it, it should leave it in print. And just go ahead and add one tablespoon at a time, waiting until each tablespoon is incorporated before adding the next. So I'm going to check my dough. It's been about 15 minutes. Kneading on low speed. It's quite soft. Quite soft and supple. And you can see most of the sides of the bowls are cleaned, which is what you're looking for. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cover it. I would say this is done kneading. It's not like your typical American dough that has less fat in it from the butter and the eggs. So this is pretty much done. As long as it's soft and it's cleaning the sides of the bowls and you know the brioche is done and we're gonna let it refrigerate in the fridge for about two hours just until it's cold, and then that way you can develop some of those flavors and really enhance the flavor of our dough. Okay, and at this point, I'm just playing around with it, so <laughs> I'm gonna cover it. Refrigerate for two hours. Okay, so roll up the sleeves. Our brioche dough has actually been resting for quite a while now. You know, that's the nice thing with bread dough. You can just make it ahead of time kind of forget about it and then come back to it later. So it's been proofing for a few hours. We let it ferment in the fridge for two hours or so just to help develop some of the flavor and just let the dough relax too. Just about that size is good. I'm not gonna measure it just because I don't feel like pulling out a measuring tape or ruler but just about that size and look at our dough i mean i didn't use any whole wheat flour but the color of it almost looks like i did because there's so much spice in here so anyway once you stretch it out no need for a rolling pin because we don't want to dirty any additional dishes that we don't have to wash we're just going to add about four tablespoons of butter and it should be very soft. Like you should be able to pull it apart in your fingers, like I'm doing here. It's an extremely soft butter. It's a lot of butter, I know. But that's why it tastes good. And we don't eat it all the time. That's the most important moderation. So I'm gonna grab our little spatula. Let's just start spreading that butter around. Try to make it even. And if your butter's soft enough, it shouldn't be too difficult. Okay. Now we're gonna spread over our sugar mixture. Small. Oh, that cinnamon just wafting up at me. It's amazing. We're just going to roll it from the short end that way. Okay. So once we have that little log there, the cinnamon roll log, we're going to cut it right in half. I'm gonna leave eh, maybe half an inch uncut. Well, try your best to keep it 
all intact and just braid it. So I'm doing that one there, that side over there. I'm gonna flip this one over like that, just like that. Okay, some of the raisins are gonna fall out. That's okay. So I'm gonna grab my pan really quick. I love pan, I mean, we really don't need to butter it. There's so much butter in here already. <laughs> so I'm just going to roll the ends up like that and fit it right in. Kind of adjust it as needed. Kind of play around with it, see what looks the nicest. Brushing it with some cream for browning. Got the oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. Look at that texture. Oh my god, it's so soft. Nice and crusty on the outside, but ultra soft and supple on the inside. But make sure to heat it up in the oven. I heated mine at 350, 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 to 20 minutes wrapped in foil. And it just reheats beautifully. And that's the way to eat it. Mmm. Oh wow. Mm. Ultra buttery. The taste of spices. Mm. The raisins, I love raisins, so I know some people don't. But it goes so well with the cinnamon spices and the butter. Mm. Gotta try it. So if you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week and share the video with any friends or family that you know might be interested in making some delicious homemade raisin bread. Um, and then, yeah, comment down below if you try this recipe out. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye.